Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Happy weekend to you all, my followers, my fans on Facebook and on YouTube. May God bless you all. Thank you, Jesus, again for another faithful day. All praise to the Most High. Hallelujah. So this is our brother Sami's prayer. Please, um, I would just like to welcome uh, my new followers and even those who are watching my videos. May God bless you. Please just like, share, and please you can drop your comment at the comment section. I will get back to you. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. So today again, uh, we thank God that God had made it possible for us again to be alive. Hallelujah. I will pray for those who are sick, um, be at home, those who have been admitted in the hospital. We pray that may the hand of God, Father, reach them. May the hand of God heal them. Hallelujah. Whatever they are, say the distance is not the barrier. So it depends on your faith and I believe to receive your miracle or to receive your healing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you once more, O oh God, again, Lord, for your mercy upon our life. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for your guidance and protection, O oh God. Day and night, O oh God, Father, we travel from one place to another, by air, by water, by land. We pray, O oh God, Father, may your mercy, O oh God, see us through, O oh God. We thank you, Lord, O oh God, Lord, for being our guiding angels. Thank you, my Father. We pray, O oh God, even for the pregnant women, the newborn babies, O oh God, we commit them into your hand, O oh God. Let the God, O oh God, Father, will see us through this day as we worship you in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and Amen. Praise God. So, brethren, today uh, we are still on another section today that we will be talking about, still on our dream interpretation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today topic, um, we'll be talking on a topic um, that you dream. Hallelujah. Or you had a dream. So in that dream, um, you have been assigned. You will be assigned. You heard it clearly. Something that you heard it. You heard it clearly. That they say to you, um, they give you something like a package. Hallelujah. Or a bag. They can give you a, um, a bag like a package to go and deliver somewhere. To go and deliver um, to a woman who has been having um, belay problem. So that is a word that we use. I will not say stomach problem, but she has been having belay problem. Hallelujah. Means that um, she has been married for some years and she has been having a complication for her to, to conceive. Hallelujah. So she has been having this complication for some time. Maybe she shall be married for two years, for three years, four years, five years, um, six years, seven years, up to, let me say, like in the case of Hannah, up to 90 years. Hallelujah. Praise God. May God see proof to her that he still remains in God. Hallelujah. So I'll be talking on that topic, that you find yourself in a dream, and you've been called, and an assignment was given to you, that a package, a bag, like a bag like a bag like something put in a in a fertilizer bag being tied but you never knew what was inside but it wasn't given to you in your dream go and deliver it to this woman but you were going there but you never knew this place you were just going there to go and deliver what was being asked for you to deliver and you went there successfully and you delivered the a, a, the parcel to the place hallelujah then after you deliver the parcel and maybe you are going back. Maybe you can identify. Let me see you identify one or three people around there. But you know you knew them. Hallelujah. You identify them. So maybe by you are going back and you realize maybe in your hand. You realize after you, you did everything successfully, you were going back. You realize that you had some things or something was being something was being in your hand. But you never knew that there was something in your hand. You realize the way you were going back. Maybe it can be I talk about let me say fruit. Yeah, it can be fruit. Maybe um, it can be pear or mango, any other fruit. It, you realize that you had it in your hand and you were going with it. So it depends how many you had it in your hand. Hallelujah. It depends how many were there in your hand when you were going back and you realize that there is something in your hand. Amen. It can be two, it can be three, it can be four. Hallelujah. But the package that you went and you delivered to the destination that they asked you to go and deliver, maybe you... You have never seen the person. 
you don't know the person, you don't know who the woman was. But it, it, as time was given to you and you heard it clear, go and deliver it to this house. There's a woman there who had been having the leg problem. So that is the language and that is the word that they will use to you. I will not call it that a stomach problem. No. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. So you went there and you deliver it successfully. And maybe when you, um, your way returning back where you were going, and you realize that um, there were some things in your hands. You realize that you, you realize that there were some things in your hand. These things will always be fruit. Always be fruit in your hand. As I said, it can be mango, it can be pear, it can be and um, any other um um uh, fruit, apple, any other fruit in your hand. But it depends how many you had in your hands. It depends how many you had in your hands. Hallelujah. Praise God. It can be two, it can be three, it can be four. So it depends how many that you had in your hand. That the number that you had in your hand um indicate the number of children that God has blessed that person. Or God, God has blessed that family. Or God has blessed that woman. It can be two, it can be three, it can be four. Hallelujah. So it signifies the number of children that God has given to that woman. <coughs> Amen. So um, we have other scriptural backings um, that will be talking, that will be like uh, as a scriptural reference. Hallelujah. It will be as a scriptural reference on our topic today. Hallelujah. So we have um, um, the book of First Samuel chapter 2 verse 1. Second Samuel chapter two verse twenty one. Uh, we have Luke chapter two verse um, thirty eight to thirty um, from thirty six to thirty eight. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter twenty nine. Praise God. We see have again Luke chapter one verse twenty five and Genesis tap, chapter twenty one from verse six to seven. Praise God. So yeah, the Bible makes us to um, understand uh, in the book of uh, First Samuel chapter one verse two, and it says Hannah. And Hannah, Hannah was childless and was unhappy as she was tormented by her husband or the wife. Hallelujah. Who had many children after praying, after praying earnestly to God for a child. God grant her a son who she named her Samuel. Hallelujah who she named her Samuel. So, there was Hannah. The Bible makes us understand that Hannah has been a woman of prayer. Hannah had been praying endlessly. Uh, in the case of Hannah, it was one of the uh, major cases that was being recorded in the Bible. A woman who prayed endlessly to God. Hallelujah. Who prayed and the Bible recorded his mouth began to move, but his voice was not heard. Or to her, the high prince early heard about it. Saw her praying at the altar, and she and she said unto and he said unto her, "Are you drunk?" Hallelujah. So it is sometimes uh, so women um, we need to pray sometimes that you become crazy. That even a prince or also ever as a prophet will, will see you, and will not recognize it is you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So it does not depend how long. That you have been married and you have been what you have been praying believing god for a fruit of the womb so your husband cannot do it your family cannot do it it's only god that gives children hallelujah it's god that gives children amen so helicana your husband never he, he was not worried but he was what he was just i'm worried about hannah hannah i'm um, hannah was also praying Anytime that I went to Shiloh, Hannah will abandon them in the feet of the table. He went always, we always go back to the altar to pray. I have not come to serve table, but I am a woman with a boring heart. Hallelujah. Because he was being mocked by the other wife. Hallelujah, Penina. Praise God. So if you have prayed and believed for seven years, and your prayer still has not been answered, it does not. Hallelujah. It does not, it does not, that, or it does not mean that God isn't really, or God opens or not interpret, hallelujah, not interpretation or nothing, it can be taken to God seriously, hallelujah. So there are women of God that the Bible record them in prayers, women who pray, Sarah pray, hallelujah, Sarah was a mother of prayer, Hannah also prayed, she said, she said my heart rejoiced. 
Hallelujah. He said, my heart rejoice in the Lord. In the Lord, my horns is lifted high. My mouth, hallelujah, boasted over my enemies. For I am delighted in your deliverance. Hallelujah. That was the prayer of Hannah. Ruth also pray. Sarah also pray. Elizabeth also pray. Hannah, the prophet, also pray. And the woman of the Canaanite will also pray. So I just pray that let our mothers who are all married sisters who are married to be women of prayer. Let it be a woman of prayer. Hallelujah. Let it be women of prayer. Amen. Let it be women of prayer. The Canaanite woman also prayed. When you go back to the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 25. It said, Lord help me. Hallelujah. Lord help me. That was her prayer. And the Bible makes us understand um, um, in the book of um, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. The Bible makes us understand that there were also a woman or women who prayed. There were also women who prayed. Ruth also prayed. Hallelujah. The Bible says what? Lois and Eunice. Hallelujah. These are the women who prayed and lay impact on the life of their sons, which passed down to generation, from their mother to their grandmother. Pray unto the life of something. Advise that let our 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 our, our mother be women of prayer. The prayer that you made upon the life of your daughter or the life of upon the life of your son. Hallelujah. We move from generation to eternity. Amen. No matter where you are right now. Hallelujah. Whether you are barren, but the Bible says it's not barren on it. Hallelujah. Or you feel unseen or unnamed or you haven't been praying for something for 19 years. God is still God and he is still in the business of answering prayer. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So um, that dream that you had that you were being assigned, either you, either you as a man you had that dream or you as a woman you had that dream. Praise God that you were being called and an assignment was given to you, a bag that was being parceled and in a traditional way. A, like, a bag like um, a fertilizer. It's not like something we've been wrapped. We'll come to another section that we'll be talking about. Um, a parcel, like they can wrap it in the form of a leaf, they tie it. I will talk concerning that. It's still a blessing, but oh, that will be another topic for another time. Hallelujah. So this one simplified that um, um, this parcel that was being given. To this person to go and deliver onto this um, house or to this woman, which he had cleared because this word that I said that you listen and he had cleared, they assign you say go and give it to this woman who have been what having issue. We have been having belly problem. That's what I will say. And you went there, you deliver it safely. And when you were going back, you realize that you had some things in your hand. You realize that you, were, you had some things in your hand, like fruits. Because the Holy Spirit, at the end, they will always give you fruit when you are going back. Those are the blessings that have been given unto that woman. You realize any fruit that you find in your hand, it depends the number of fruit that you had in your hand, it depends the number of children that they have blessed you. It can be four, it can be five, it can be two, it can be one. So that is the meaning of the dream. It means that what? It means that um, her problem has been solved. Her problem has been solved. God has answered her prayer by sending someone to go and deliver a package. Hallelujah. So that was how Abraham, the Bible makes us understand that um, upon her wife that God blessed, God blessed him. Hallelujah. So let God be our helper. Pray that whosoever that have been uh, married, and yes, um, God, has, God can still do something to prove to Hannah that he still remain a God. Hallelujah. And God will still remain God forever. Praise Master Jesus. I don't know the number of years that you have been waiting, you have been praying, maybe you have been, you have been praying for five years, uh, you got married, not issue, uh, for six years, for ten years, but God is still remain God. Just wait, God will answer you. 
In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Remain blessed. Bye-bye.